Good day everybody, I'm the How Hobbit and welcome to something a little bit different. Uh, this game is Duskers. Uh, this game came out a long time ago, I played it a long time ago as well. And I just thought it'd be fun to go back and play it again. I don't know if I'll do multiple episodes in this. It's a bit like a roguelike in space, but you control drones and stuff, so it's very... It's very challenging, in a sense. I'll probably see if I can do a run this episode, and we'll see how it goes from there. So, let's just jump straight into it. Alright, so we're in, and I guess it's time to get started. So, would you like to view a summary of the inconsistencies? Why not? So, warning, vessel recall fail. Calculations consistent with projected anomaly re-entry. Initial scans and telemetry is consistent with previous readings. Common registration points contain variants of sound acceptable thresholds, scanning for possible malfunctions. External monitoring process shows no sign of malfunction. So, we have no idea what happened. Uh, something clearly happened. So, looks like we're sa um, we're saving this file. So, what we need, to, what we should do is probably explore for the galaxy. So, there we go. Uh, lots of commands are listed and stuff. I already know most of them. Uh, yes. Uh, I'm just gonna. Uh, oh yeah, yeah, I know, I know. Yeah, I, I know most of these. Yeah, alias. Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. Right, okay, cool. All right, we don't need that. So, we're, this is our little ship. Um, we have fuel cells sort of down at the bottom. I was just sort of point down to it. Uh, this is mainly just a keyboard-based game, so I won't use the mouse too much, but I can just show it off. So, my mouse is here. Um, uh, but let's look at our drones, because... This game is all based around using drones. Um, so we've got, oh, we've got stealth. Excellent, that's probably one of the best things that we got. We've got a motion sensor, that's very useful. And a generator. All of these look really, really good. So what we're gonna do, uh, just check our shit with config. Nothing there yet. Mods, um, we haven't got any scrap, have we? Or oh, we've got very little. So what we're going to do, we're just going to board the ship. Uh, this all looks fine. We've got our three drones up here. So, let's do it. Unknown direct. Okay, so we've got a communication. Is it me or is this happening way too fast and over too much space to be using some form of attack? I'm not the only one thinking this right. The situational is leans firmly towards some form of cosmic anomaly. May maybe a radiation storm, GRB, or so, um, some natural event. I'm assuming that's what it says. I'm going to send out a request to some of the co um, con This is very, very glitched out by the looks of things. Th 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 this is meant to be the case, by the way. The th these are all logs, and it's very awesome like that. There's a lot of law in this game. Uh, should easily get replies fairly sharpish. They'll want some answers, and we won't care who um, we won't care who from. Easier the military too, whatever that word is. I have no idea. If you can start to whittle down this mountain of possible theories, that would be great. S small warning for uh, small warning though. Before you dive in, prepare for some really weird stuff. Uh, I'm gonna have to censor that because yeah. Uh, linking with theory index cosmic events due to cosmic anomaly radiation storm. So, let's go on the ship. So here's our um, sort of ship. So we, we've got sort of different looking things. We can toggle between two different views. So here are our three drones. Uh, we can control them manually, but we can also control them from the console. Um, let's see if I can remember uh, how to switch drones. There we go, it's just the number keys. Okay, so... These two drones look like they've probably got the best, so we're just going to begin. Um, I've already played this before, so I've sort of know some things already, so I, I've basically set up what's known as an alias, which allows us to control a bit more, so we're just going to scan if we can. We can't do a scan because we don't have it yet. Alright. So, D16 is open, which are going to control our drone manually for now. So we've got a bit of this um, scan, so we're just going to gather. 
Okay, we've got another generator. That's going to be useful for powering the rest of the ship. This is actually quite a large ship so far. So, the green doors, as you can see on this menu here, I'll, I'll sort of make it more central. Um, the green door, everything that's green is powered, and everything that's greyed out isn't. Uh, we can open all the doors that aren't powered and... Wait, no. <laughs> we can't open doors that aren't powered, but we can open all the doors that are. So, this is very much strategy, because there are enemies and stuff, so what we're going to do is we're going to close door 16 and open door 9. I can't tell what that sound is, but that's not sounding good. That's a vent. That's not amazing. Because uh, there are big alien bees, and they are not friendly in the slightest. Uh, so we're going to go uh, D10. Hopefully I'll not get shot. I think we're okay. Uh, so what we're going to do, uh, if we dock at A4, uh, that basically moves our ship into a different area of the sort of area, um, the derelict ship. So D16, we're gonna do nav to um, to uh, R5, which will move our second um, our second drone. Uh, hello, um, name Tweet, I'm um, Tweaky. Um, to this room, which will allow us to power these rooms over here. So it looks like that's probably going to be a third generator, sort of, here-ish. Um, so what we're going to do uh, is sort of do a little bit of exploring. So uh, if we switch back to our uh, gatherer, just explore a little bit. Okay, so we've got a console. I can't... Uh, we can't come and do this, but... What are, ah, there we go. So this is this is where we start gathering scrap and stuff. So all the yellow dots and stuff are scrap to be um, gathered, and the green bit, um, green thing which collected from here is fuel. So we got one day's propulsion required, and then one jump cell, which is quite handy. Uh, so we're gonna just um, gather the rest of the scrap. Um, uh, okay. Um. Because the scrap is what we use to repair stuff. Because th there is stuff that can break in this game quite easily. Uh, it's always a good habit to lock your doors behind you. So we're just going to do that. Ah, so we found a drone. Hello. Named Colin. Because Colin is a good name for a drone, apparently. Um, and we've got another airlock. So we might dock there if we can. So this looks like a disabled... Drone. So let's see what we got. We got speed boost. We got another stealth. That's just pretty handy. So I'm gonna sort the speed boost so we can do it a little bit easier. So we should be a little bit faster now. Oh yeah, we're miles faster. Excellent. Uh. So I'm actually gonna switch to drone two and open door fifteen. Ah, uh, that's a drone! That is a drone! Uh, and we're gonna shut that door, because we do not want to deal with that. That was a drone. Uh, so that was an enemy, basically. There are enemies on this ship. There are enemies everywhere, basically. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna... Um, we're gonna pull an old sneaky on him. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna open Alec 4 and door 9. And we're going to take our third drone here, which has a terrible camera, so we can't really see much. And bring it to this room here, so we can put a motion sensor, which allows us to scan rooms and stuff. So it looks like um, what we want to do is move our drones to... Um, um, sort of room two. Uh, so let's move these two drones. So that's. <coughs> yeah, excuse me. Still feel like I'm getting over cold. Um, 
Um, oh yeah, it's navigate, isn't it? Navigate to R2. Um, navigate. Navigate three R2. So what that'll do is I'll move all of those to here. Then we can do generator. Um, I didn't think this through. How are we going to open door 15? Hmm. Uh, if we do motion. Okay, so we can look in that room and that room. So if you go, let's try D18. Yeah, okay, so if we do, um, um, navigate to, um, back to our five, uh, navigate three to our three, what we'll probably be able to do, uh, is, um, actually we can just put, um, We can just put our third drone back in here for now. Because what we we'll do. Close D9, close D16. Uh, and I forgot we can't open that door. Oh, this is so complicated sometimes. Alright. Alright, first things first. Let's get that um, second drone. That, sorry, second drone? Fourth drone. I can't count today, apparently. Uh. So let's um, tow this drone who's currently inactive and we can bring him back to our ship and we can repair him which I think is a really good idea and it's probably something that we should do. There we are Colin. Easy peasy. Uh, so how are we going to do this? Because I'm trying to think because what we could do if we do D6, D16, the only thing I'm going to have to think is that we're going to have to be quick. So if we close D9, um, navigate 3 to R3, and do motion, we can open door 15. Uh, navigate our second drone to R2. Then generator D16. There we go. So, what you'll notice is that motion sensors go red when there's an enemy in the room. So what we can do if we close D10, open D17, is hopefully trap the enemy in there. Yeah, there we go. So now, um, remote is absolutely fine to be opened. Uh, so we're going to go back to, um, um, well, R5 and make a generator there, basically. Uh, so we're going to do six, quite happily. And we can explore a little bit more. So we've got another uh, generator here, so let's, um, nav 2 to R6, and, uh, that's not R6, that's R8. For some reason you actually move slightly faster if you go backwards. It's a bit of a weird feature, but, or it might be a bug. Uh, right, so... I'm going to play it safe, and we're going to go through D, um, D11 instead of doing the other one, because there's always a risk that your drones will get destroyed. There's there's no sort of safety measure, measures you can put in. Uh, that's not That's not the one I wanted to do. Uh, 
Um, but what we can do is if we do um, D8, D5, that was D6, but D5, what we can do is e, um, do a command which I've written called ED, which basically means that all of our drones go back to the ship. Um, and we should, we'll be able to basically end the mission. Now one thing I am actually going to quickly do is I think it's commandeer. Uh, I should just know you make him. All right, okay. Uh, oh yeah, because there's a um, there's a enemy in there. So we're just gonna end uh, or exit, as it's actually called. So that's quite su um, successful. Uh, we got a few new um, upgrades and we got a new drone. So that's basically the game in a nutshell. Uh, we basically can travel to every single type of vessel that you can see here. So we've already been to this one. So what we're going to do is we are going to travel to this one here. And uh, as you can see, we've got objectives too. Um, and basically, there's a lot of theories. So sort of the aim of the game, I, I guess, is what it was meant to be, is to um, explore ships and try and figure out what happened. Because we're kind of alone in the universe, as far as we're aware. Uh, let's repair this drone, actually, if we can. Because it's got zero health at the moment. So what we can actually do is... Um, um, oh, wait, no, we, we need to do that in the modifications menu. I don't know, yeah. So what we can do is we can um, we can repair our drones. So I'm just going to repair it a little bit. We've we've got a lot of scrap at the moment, so uh, we've repa we've repaired the drone a little bit, and it just allows us to do a little bit more. All right, let's explore this um, ship here. So let's board. Uh, let's actually bring you into slot four can. I can't remember how to do that. Uh, can I bring you in? Oh, well, I'm not bringing the drone along apparently. <laughs> oh dear. So there's a dormant drone in room two apparently, so that's quite handy to know. Um, this screen will often tell you a little bit about what you need to look at. So we've got a drone in T, we've also got an infest infestation type, uh, that's basically the type of enemy. So that is um, stuff that we can see exists already, so there are two drones there by the looks of things. So let's just, uh, let's just begin. Okay, so that looks like it's a ship upgrade, so uh, let's just take the info of this room. So it's a long range scanner and it's firmly installed thing. So this might be a good ship to commandeer eventually. That is a sentry turret, which is inactive. Okay, so that's good to know that's here. Uh, we're just going to gather all, all the scrap that you can see at the moment. Okay, so um, let's bring our third drone into the room with us, because it'll be quite useful to um, use the motion sensor to see what's around, and hopefully that's not all too helpful. Right, let's move over here, because maybe we can see what's up in these rooms up here instead. And the answer to the question is no, we can't. Excellent. Uh, so this is just going to be a game of chance. So luckily with our first room we have a stealth module. Um, so that, that allows us to sort of turn invisible for a short amount of time.
and that doesn't sound good that might be bees I don't like bees bees are bad um, they basically insta kill your drones if you're not careful uh, so we're just gonna move into the next room okay so we've got a terminal uh, just turn our stuff because stuff slowly recharges over time I believe yeah so we can uh, is it terminal uh, I can't remember what it is I think it's uh, it's none of those no uh, no Oh, interface is module, right, okay. So, we need to basically, hopefully, find something that'll help us. So, I'm going to see if we can dock at A2, possibly. So, let's start off D6. Alright, so we got crabs. Uh, that's... Ah! Oh, that scared the life out of me. Uh, 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 D6. No, D6. Oh... Alright, so it's crab, so it's not all that bad. Um, poor Jill, our first drone, took a massive amount of damage. Um, but we know D16 is fine, D12 is fine, and D8 is fine. So let's navigate um, our third drone to room 6. Uh, I keep forgetting how, how, like, um, how close to a horror game this feels like. <laughs> Ah, oh dear. So... We can use, basically use motion to detect where things are, in a sense. So what I want to do... Okay. Good to know. So it does detect in that room. So what we're going to do uh, is open door 17. Ah. Uh, just hit unlock accidentally, uh, and hopefully the crab will walk out of there. There's a lot of waiting involved with this game. There we go. So the door shut when there's no threat in the room, so we can now go explore this room. Oh, honestly, it scares the life out of me, this game. I don't know why I like playing it. Alright, so there's nothing in this room, so what we're going to do is we're actually just going to flush out the, um, the crab. As I like to call them. I can't actually remember what they're called. It's been a long time since i played this game. Uh. <coughs> but I always used to call them crabs, the bees, and the drones. Because, um, they, uh, they bad. Alright. So, hopefully no radiation. No radiation. So, we're just going to wait a little bit longer, just make sure that there's no other crabs within that room. Because if there is, I'm going to be very sad and very annoyed. So I'm just going to wait for a sec. I'll come back in about a minute. Okay, so I've been waiting a little while. It does look like it's fine, but I'm not going to risk it, so I'm just going to open D6 instead. And that is a wall there. Uh, but we're just going to... Start exploring. So we got a dead terminal. We got a lot of scrap. We got a destroyed drone. Rest in peace, Luke. Uh, can 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 you move, please? Apparently not. Let's let let's see what you got first. We've got mine. Okay. I can't remember what that does. I'm pretty sure it drops a um like a proximity. Well, he said it drops proximity to mine. Whatever that means. Um. So, it looks like we're going to have to go through these doors here. Uh, that's a horrible sound and I don't like it. <laughs> uh, it's a D18, because we know this room should be fine. So we've got another drone, hello. Um, let's see what you have. You've got probe, okay. So, that looks like it'd be quite handy. Um, so what I'm going to do is, uh, if I just craft 
there is um, um, now three to R2 and then toe. Gonna move you out of the way. Uh, then we're gonna um, do D17 because you know it's fine. Uh, doc A2. That's not how you spell doc. Nor is that. Alright. Then we go do uh, D6. We can't do 3D17. So what we're gonna do is F3 to R1. And just let our drone take care of the rest. Uh, we're just going to gather all of this. So we just let that do its thing. It's actually quite a nice big ship. And that in, um, that long range scanner might be actually quite handy. So we're going to go stealth again. Open door 26. See what's in here. More scrap. All right, and this looks like a clear room. It is. Um, so let's just disconnect the stealth. Um, I'm trying to think what to do next. Let's stop towing. Um, just gather that um, bit there. This is going to be kind of risky because we kind of need to see what's in the rest of these rooms. Um, so we're going to stealth again, D13, uh, we've got another generator, another interface it looks like. Uh, yes, it is, oh very nice. Okay, so we're going to close door 18, door 26, uh, all those look fine. So we're going to do nav to, uh, what number is that, is that 9? Uh, it looks like 9. Yeah, so to R9 generator. Yeah, it is. Okay, cool. And GA as well. That's all here. Okay, so now we can access another part of the ship. Uh, we're actually going to dock back at A1. Cool. Uh, we're going to switch back to our third drone and do a motion sensor because it's always better to do that. So, now now three R nine and prepare motion. Okay, uh, R ten is absolutely clear. Um, uh, we're still going to use um, Jill as our main collection bot, so let's keep looking around. Nothing too much. We got a vent though, um, which I will admit scares me a little because I know I know what comes out of those. Thankfully, there are no bees, so we're good. But it is indeed the bees that come out of those vents. And may maybe if I do another episode in this, we'll be able to see those. Um, okay, we've got another airlock. Another locked room, by the looks of things. So, I know door 23 is absolutely fine. So, let's do nav 3 to R8. That's nav 2. No, no, stop. Stop tweaking. No, I need you to be here. Um... Now what I want to do is do this, I guess I'll do it manually, um, and do motion, unconclusive, okay, not to worry, uh, what we'll do is we'll just tuck you way back here, do the same strategy with Jill, hopefully not get absolutely smashed to bits by another crab, uh, I'm saying that with the utmost hope because I do not want to be smashed to bits again. Okay, and we've got a fourth generator, is that? Uh, third. Third generator. 
And there was a crab. Oh. Blast. Um. I'm trying to think what to do now. Uh, we can still kind of see there. What we could try and do, I guess, is get into room 11. Yeah, let's let's try doing that. So let's na um, navigate three to R ten. No, sorry, R nine. Uh, um, yeah, let's navigate you to here. Close that door because we can see that one. So when that goes red, we'll know that he's in that room, so we can close door 23. Although it might be up in room 13 at the moment. See, this is this is what I meant by being a very big strategy game. There's a lot of... There's a lot of waiting involved. I'm actually just going to close D13 because I'm quite paranoid. Um, and A1. <laughs> uh, but hopefully that crab will come... over to that room there. We should get an alert when it happens. So we're just going to wait a sec just to, until that happens. And I'll come back when that happens. But if it doesn't, um, that's where it gets interesting. Hello, crab. I can see you on my camera. No, don't go that way. That's the way you're not meant to go. All right, he's going that way. Are you going to go that way again? Go on, you know you want to. Go on. Go on, move. No, not that way. No, the other way. Oh, for... oh dear, dear, dear. Go on, no, don't go back again. Oh dear, I think it knows what we're trying to do. If that's even possible. Um... But those crabs are extremely fast and extremely dangerous. And I do not like to deal with them in the slightest. Ah, <laughs> oh, dear, dear. They're honestly terrifying. Like, you know you're in trouble when you just hear <laughs> come right at you. It's just. It's just a sort of a glitch, you sort of just. Uh, it's not even. Uh, it's just sort of a rah. Yeah, that this isn't looking good. Um I'm trying to think. Cause we could take our chances. Because if it goes back again, I'll probably do that as an attempt and hope for the best. Alright, so he's going back. That's a very glitched camera. This could be a bad idea. It's not powered! It doesn't even matter. It doesn't even matter. It's not powered. Um... I'm kind of out of, out of options. I'm just trying to think. I mean, I guess... I guess we can do this. But I kind of don't want to lose... both of my kind of important drones. Um... Ah, that scares me every time. Oh, and it's blocking the doorway. Oh, uh, that's bad. Uh, can we still motion? Ah, uh, we can't. 
Uh, that might be it, now that I think about it. I mean, I guess we could just leave, but at the same time, it's also quite difficult to just leave. Where did you go? Yeah, we couldn't even do what I was planning to do. Oh, that really sucks. Alright. Um, I think it's probably just going to have to be that I just leave my two drones, but because we've lost the gather module, which is in this one here, it's kind of like we can't really progress now. I mean, we'll certainly try. Uh, we're just gonna head to the airlock. And we're just gonna have to leave. Because there's nothing we can do. Which is a real, real shame. Because it looked like this would be a really good, really, really good thing. Oh, that really sucks. Like, we lost so much from that. Will the Hobbit be absolutely stuck in space forever with no rescue in sight? Will he be able to actually escape the universe? Probably not, but will he be able to survive for next time? Find out next episode.